Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, we're gonna do a show, and then you're gonna talk, and this is the time. <laughs> well, I just I didn't know if we were. I was like waiting for some. For anyway, what? for you, for you. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you. You're here. It's fine. Yeah, you matter. Welcome to Yell You Matter with me, Katie McKnight. It's a show where we yell at you. We yell at you about your whole life. Why are we yelling at you? Because we know better. We are beautiful, and we are me. I'm talking the third person, but it doesn't matter because I'm amazing. We're we'll doing God's work. I'm gonna solve all your problems. Let's get to the question. I am a woman. Excuse me. <laughs> I am uncomfortable with casual acquaintances hugging me as a form of greeting. Does this mean I'm dead inside or are people too fucking grabby these days? Well, sir, yes. Yes, you are dead inside, but yes, also people are grabby. I don't like to be hugged. I am sweating all the time. I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating internally. I'm sweating externally. My liver is sweating, but so is my heart. My heart and my liver are sweating, but so are my arms. My armpits are sweating, not my arms. That would be crazy. My armpits are sweating, but so is my heart. I am sweating, and other people are too, especially the kind of people who like to hug you. You know that? Like, people get drunk, and then they like to hug. They hug a lot. Those are the people who are the sweatiest people. The sweatiest people love to hug when they're drunk because they can do it. They feel uninhibited, and they're not held back by their armpits anymore. They're like, I can hug everyone in the world. And that is the worst. That is the worst. I don't like to be hugged by strangers. I only want to be hugged by people who love me. Who are people who love me? People who take me to pizza. Does anyone take me to pizza? No, I've never eaten a pizza in my life. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be hugged, but I do want to be hugged. Hold me close, but only if you love me. Buy me a pizza, and then I'll let you hug me. Oh, that's a poem. Hold me close, but only if you love me. Buy me a pizza, and then I'll let you hug me. <laughs> I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. Oh, I'm beautiful. I am what I hate, and I am what I fuck. I am a poet. That is what I'm saying. I only sleep with poets. Is that an interesting fact about me? No, it is not, sir. Here's what I'm telling you. If you don't want someone to hug you, immediately Heisman them. Just Heisman the shit out of them. Just go, whoop. They'll, they'll get hit in the chest, and they'll get hit in the chest in, a, in, a, in an Emily Postian fashion and in a physical fashion. They'll say, well, I shouldn't invade people's space without asking first. I always find it good to ask. Can I give you a hug? It's a weird question, but I don't know how social interaction works, so I find the best uh, the best way to have social interaction is just to be as direct as possible. Do you like my face? Oh, I like your face. I say to other people, and they don't like that. They don't. They find that off-putting, but I find it the only way to communicate because I am very direct. Just say, I don't like to be hugged. Get away from me. You're sweating. And then, if someone buys you a pizza, let them embrace you because you are on your way to love. Next question. How can we shrink the states between Illinois and New York so that my friend and I can hang out more easily? Signed, Anonymous. Here's what I would be thinking if I were you, and I'm probably you, we're probably similar, we're probably very similar because I am an everyman but no man at all. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm beautiful and attractive and mesmerizing. My face is like a radiant beacon that people just find themselves drawn to, but not in a romantic way, turns out no one wants that. They're not drawn to it like that. No one wants to put their face on my face so that we're kissing. Mostly people uh, come up to my face and then immediately walk away because they're scared. Do you know why they're scared? Because I am, I'm, I know, I know that I'm great. I know. Here's, you probably think this girl has magical powers. She's got a YouTube show that her mom has hate watched 700 times. She's probably amazing. She could probably move states, move my, she's melding minds. Why can't she meld the land? But I can't. I can't shrink the states so you're out of luck. Connecting emotionally will make it seem like you're connecting physically. It's kind of the same, or so I say to myself, when boys call me on the phone at 3 in the morning to cry about their relationships with their mother, but then suddenly don't want to hug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Emotional intimacy is really the most important, important intimacy that you can have. Yeah, sure, okay, you don't want to look at my boobs, but you would like to write, read me a poem that you wrote about your brother. Fine. I cannot shrink the stakes. I cannot find love. We're never going to get anywhere. I'm going to die in this place. Thanks for watching Yell You Better. Uh, if you want to find us online, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash yell you better. You can find us on Tumblr at yellyoubetter.tumblr.com. You can email us questions, which we'd really appreciate, at yellyoubetter at gmail.com. You can find last week's episode right here, and you can find old episodes right there. Thanks for watching Yell You Better. Have a good week. You looked at me immediately! I told you! I was looking at me immediately! Yeah, let me try it one more time. No, forget it. That's it. No, I wouldn't do it! This is the end of the show. I wouldn't do it! No, I wouldn't do it! I wouldn't do it! I'm gonna stop looking at you like you're my dad.